So um, everybody, do you agree that this is a proportion question? Do you agree? And again, say no if it's not clear to you that it's a proportion, um, but you let me know. Yes or no, is it clear that this is a proportion? Okay. Cool. So let's go ahead and explore. Let's guarantee why we know it's a proportion, number one. And number two, well, what makes this problem different? What makes this problem harder? Because when we compare the same things in the same way, we have to make sure it's the same things lined up. But there's a little bit of an issue here because let's start with the question sentence. Look at how this is a little different. So first of all, again, the problem starts off by saying the ratio. So it hints off that it's a proportion question. But if you read here, it says, everybody, how many red items are in the bowl? So for us here, I'm going to say blank red items. And then it says 144 what? Help me out, guys. 144 what? What's the comparison here? Red to what? Be, be very, you know, put your glasses on. I'll zoom in for you. That's 100x. That's 200x. Is it clear now? Red compared to what? Total. Sounds good. And it's still getting bigger. So there it is. And before we continue, one of the main frustrations that so many people have with the ASVAB is not knowing what to study and how to study to begin with. So if you're one of those people that can do a good job if everything's lined up for you, then go ahead and join our program. We have all the classes, all the recordings, all the courses with practice questions, with videos, and you can text me all the way up until you pass. So that's how it works. It's very simple, straightforward, and it gets you to the score and the job you want. Check out the link in the description of this video to learn more and sign up now. We are comparing how many red to 144 total. Now, why did I emphasize that? Because again, when it comes to proportions, we have to compare the same things in the same way. Now, let's read the next, uh, for the next part of the problem here, the information. It says the ratio of green items to red items in a bowl is six to 30. So it's saying here in this part, ratio of green to red, six to 30, the order matters. So they're saying green to red, that is six to 30. So another way that you can write that, if you want to write it in the same way as above, it would be six green and then 30 red. That's how you would read it. But here is the problem, everybody. Some people may notice that, whoa, the reds aren't lined up. So is it okay if I start off, even though it's not done completely, is it okay if I swap the green and red so it's the same order? No, red first. Is that okay with y'all? Okay. Now, what's the problem that we're facing right now, guys? What's the problem? Look at it. What's the problem that we're facing? This is where we need to have this conversation. We need to talk about what we're doing here. Right, Santiago, that's right. We're not comparing the same things. We're trying to do it in the same way, red to red, but then we have total and then we have green. That's the issue that we need to tackle. So if you were lost on this one, but you were able to follow along in the other ones, this is really the part that makes or breaks our understanding here. So here's the problem. We have total on one side, green on the other. My party people, how do you get total? How do you get total? We need to add. Simple as that, we need to add. So let's go ahead and add. What do you mean? Well, if we're saying that we have 30 red and then six green, well, add them together. 30 red plus six green gives us what total, everybody? 36 total, that's right, that's right. And that's what we need to use. That's what we need to use. We can't let the six sit there. We have to replace it with 36 for the total. Before I continue, yes or no, did that make sense? Because we have to compare the same things in the same way, and the question tells us read the total, we had to make sure that the second comparison had to be read to total. Because we had red to green, we added red and green together to get that total, the total, the sum of the parts. Um, that's something that everyone needs to really comprehend because moving forward, 
Now it's easy as pie because now we're good. I'm going to say red over 144 equals, then we have 30 over 36. So everyone, do we see how even though we took a little more time on that setup, boom, now we have made sense, at least a little more sense than before uh, on this problem. Yes or no, are we good on that? Perfect. All right. So with that said, now let's tackle the solution here. Let's tackle this. My party people. Right there. My party people. We don't need to cross multiply and divide. Remember, before you cross multiply and divide, we should always look to simplify first. That's really what we want to do. So with that said, is there something that we can simplify pretty straightforward that you would see pretty clearly? Yeah, you could definitely divide by two on the top and bottom here. You could also divide by two right there and there. You could absolutely do that and that. But take a look at 30 over 36. You can divide by something a little bigger than two. Yeah, we can divide them both by six. Let's try that out. And just like you're watching this video for free here on YouTube, I got more free materials for you, my ASVAB party people. We've got a free practice test that comes with video solutions so you can learn from every single mistake and identify those topics that you need to crush and work on. And on top of that, you can get a free class with me on Zoom once a week. And so that's all included in my free practice test with my free class included. Click that link in this video or in the description, sign up, keep learning for free and keep raising your score. I'm proud of you. Let's keep working hard and let's get back to the problem. Let's try that out. So let's take that, divide by six, divide by six. And so we're gonna end up having R over 144 equals five over six. So that's what we ended up getting, okay. Now, is there anything else that we could potentially simplify? Or do you wanna just go ahead and straight up multiply and divide? Yeah, we could definitely try the six and the 144 because I know that since they're both even, they're both at least divisible by two. And one thing that you should know is that yes, uh, six does go into 144. Um, that is going to be 24 times. Um, but if you didn't know that with mental math at the top of your head, no worries. We can just go ahead and divide. It's all good. You can divide it quickly. Six goes into 144. Six goes into 14 two times. Six goes into 24, four times. And we're done. So right there, that would end up being if we divided both of these by six. Again, we're dividing both denominators by the same number. You're doing the same thing to both sides. You are allowed to do that, especially since it is division. And so you're good. So that would end up being R over 24 equals five over one. Everybody, is this a much easier proportion to solve than uh, that? It even looks bigger. There's so much more to do, right? Like there's so, it's so much of a better time. And so I'm going to zoom on out a little bit so you can see the whole comparison. But now we just go ahead and do 24 multiplied by 5. Everybody, R equals what? What's 24 times 5? A little bit of mental math, you can go ahead and do 24, or excuse me, 20 times 5, 100. 4 times 5 is 20. So you have 100 plus 20, which is 120. Boom. And there you are. Joel, what happened? What happened? But yeah, the answer there would be 120, and that is C. And before you go, if you like what you saw and you want to raise your score with thousands of practice problems just like that, so you can lower that test anxiety, raise that confidence, go to this link right here to check out the full program. There's a video that shows you exactly how it works, but you're going to get lessons, guided practice, worksheets, speed drills, and everything that you need to feel supported from day one all the way until you pass. Again, I'm Coach Anderson, and I'll see you soon.